Hello everyone! So today I have six new anime inspired daily hairstyles and some of the series that we are going to be covering today are Sailor Moon, Fate Stay Night, Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, and also <laughs> Banana Fish. And like I did the first time, I opened up suggestions on Instagram and I basically picked the most popular and highly requested series along with some of my own favorite ones just for some like self-indulgence. And by the way, all of the jewelry that I'm wearing today is from my limited edition collection with Keston called Love Love letter to you and you can check out my collection in the description box below. As usual, I'm starting off with my hair curled and if you want to see my little hair curl routine, I'm going to link it up in the top right hand corner as usual. So Sailor Moon was probably the most highly requested series for me to cover and everyone wanted to see Usagi so of course this is my spin on it. Sometimes Usagi has this little twirly bit of hair right above her ear so I'm just pulling that out and sectioning that away and then I'm tying off a small half updo ponytail on one side of my hair. I'm tempered pinning that out of the way for now and again this is my method for putting in extensions in a high pigtail without having any of the wefts showing so I'm sort of digging around for the most center piece of my hair and then I'm tying that off with a clear elastic and then with my colored extensions of choice I'm using a peachy pink and a brighter pink and I'm clipping this on top of the pigtail and then flipping it over I'm clipping the second extension underneath to create an extension sandwich and then after that I'm taking all of the hair and I'm surrounding all of the wefts to cover them entirely and then I'm tying this off with two clear elastics for extra security. You can definitely skip this step if you want this to be a really quick five minute everyday hairstyle but just because I wanted to go all out with my own spin on this hairstyle I was like yes I definitely need some pink extensions. Then I'm taking my little pigtail and then I'm curling it away from my face and wrapping it around itself to create a very loose bun. Then I'm just pinning it in place with some bobby pins and then I'm repeating on the other side. So while I'm doing this on the other side, I just also wanted to share with you guys how I curled my synthetic extensions because this also has a very particular technique to it because unlike with real hair extensions, you can't really use heat on extensions like these because they're made out of plastic so they actually melt. So I took some really quick, I'm sorry, ugly heat clips on my phone. You just want to use a curling iron on the lowest heat possible and you want to wrap your extension on it and kind of just leave it sitting for maybe about like 15 seconds and then afterwards you need to twist it up into the curl curl and then pin it in place and let it cool down completely and this can take like a couple of minutes the heating and the cooling of the plastic will set it in the shape of a curl and so even with like really really cheap plastic extensions you can still curl them and you can still use them in a hairstyle like this so that is it for this hairstyle okay I have to say this is one of the cutest hairstyles I've ever done and it definitely really looks absolutely magical so for the next hairstyle, I'm actually going to be doing Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. I was just so captured by the little heart-shaped buns that she has. So first, again, I'm separating my little curly bits from the front of my ear, and then I'm tying off my hair into a high pigtail. And then taking another clear elastic, I'm creating a very small loop and securing that in place. To hide the elastic, I'm taking a very small piece of hair and wrapping it around the elastic and bobby pinning that in place. To create the little heart-shaped bun, I kind of just shaped it with my fingers and then used bobby pins to pin it in place into the base of the pigtail and then I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. As you can see it literally takes me five seconds to do this by just inserting like one or two bobby pins. It is ridiculously easy to do and this one does take only five minutes to do. I feel like this one is just so unique and it's just so cute. Like it looks like they could be little bows or also little hearts. I just really like the vagueness of the shape of these buns and they're definitely very unique too. Next I'm going to do another highly requested hairstyle and that is Saber's hairstyle from Fate Stay Night and I'm actually doing two versions of this hairstyle. So the first hairstyle is going to be more accurate to what she actually wears in the entire series. First I'm separating the little bits of my hair that frame my face and I'm taking the majority of my hair and I'm tying it off into a medium height ponytail. Then I'm twisting all of this in one direction and from the back I am twisting it more and more until it collapses onto itself into a bun. Then I'm taking a bunch of bobby pins and I'm pinning this in place. And I I wanted this to be really casual looking like as if it's an everyday hairstyle so I decided to go with a messier looking bun then taking the rest of my hair I'm braiding this leaning off to one side and then after securing it with an elastic I'm wrapping it around the base of the bun and then securing it in place with a bobby pin 
then for anime accuracy, I'm taking a little blue chiffon sash, tying that off into a ribbon, inserting a bobby pin into the center, and then I'm inserting this right at the base of our bun. I feel like this is a pretty damn good replica of what the hairstyle looks. Even though this is like a straight up anime hairstyle, it still looks so classy. Honestly, I was really surprised how much I love this hairstyle. It looks so chic, and when paired with gold jewelry, you just look like really fancy. So next we're still doing Saber from Fate Stay Night, but this is a completely different version. This is more loosely inspired by her hairstyle. And I'm starting off with a small French braid at the top of my head and then I'm working downwards. And then once I reach the nape of my neck, I'm passing it on over and then I'm continuing to French braid all around my entire head and then I'm flipping everything over and continuing to braid the rest of my hair. So essentially I've just done one big fat French braid to create a French braid crown. And then I'm loosening the ends of my hair just to give it a little bit more volume and I'm pinning everything in place. And then I'm swapping out her classic blue ribbon for a white ribbon instead. And that is it for this hairstyle. It's an asymmetric French braid crown. Again, this is just a loose interpretation of Saber's hairstyle, incorporating elements of her hairstyle, like her braid and her iconic low ribbon. For this next hairstyle, we're doing Akane Aoi from Jibaku Shonen Hanako-kun. It was through someone's suggestion on Instagram that I found this character and immediately I fell in love. So this hairstyle does have a few more components to it. So first I'm separating about two inches of hair away from my face and pinning that away. Then from the back, I'm taking the top one third of my hair and pinning that away in place. And at this point, you should look really stupid by now. From the back, I'm separating off another one third of my hair and I'm sectioning that off in the middle and parting it to each side. And then I'm just temporarily putting a clip on the last remaining one third of my hair. Then from the front, I'm taking those side pieces and I am just going to be braiding them off and then tying them off with an elastic. And the little loopies that she has in her hair aren't braided, but I found out that you can't really have loops like this without some sort of structural integrity. So I ended up braiding my hair to make this hairstyle work. Then with my two braids, I'm just looping them in the back and I'm pinning those in place. Then I'm letting down the top one third of my hair and that sort of covers all of the bobby pins in the back. And then for the final step, I'm kind of just like digging out the loop so that it's kind of resting forward. And then I'm tying each side of my hair off into low pigtails. And that's it for this hairstyle. Again, there's a lot more moving portions to this, but it's pretty easy to get if you just keep your hair organized in different sections. And this is still a really cute hairstyle and it's really unique. So I really liked how this turned out. All right, so now it's time for the last hairstyle in this video and uh, for our last hairstyle, I am going to be against my will covering Lee Yue Lung from Banana Fish or I guess Yu Long, depending on how you say it because the bitch is Kanto just like me. But yeah, he has this really ugly hairstyle that he wears to a party and my friends were kind of like making fun of me. They were like, hey, you should do his hairstyle. At first it was a joke, but then my other friend, she said that if I did it, for her, then she would draw my banana fish head cannons. So, what you are witnessing is a bribe. First, I'm separating everything off into two low pigtails. And then on each side, I'm creating two braids out of each pigtail. When I'm securing the braids off with my clear elastics, I'm bundling the hair off so that the loose ends aren't sticking out as much when I pin them up afterwards. And then with my two braids, I'm so easily just taking them and pulling them upwards against the base. And then I'm taking a claw clip and I'm just holding this together at the base. And it's super simple and I hate to say it, but it looks really, really cute. You can use any hair claw that you have. I just thought that this butterfly one looked really, really cute. And that's it for this hairstyle. Uh, it's really, really cute. I hate to say it because I hate him so much. No, I love him. No, I don't know. Is it possible to have someone who's both your comfort character and also your discomfort character at the same time? Realistically, this would be the daily hairstyle that I wear the most out of everything in this video because it's so unique and yet so easy to do. And I would definitely wear this with one of my K-Po. Like, I think it would just look so cute. And that is it for these six anime-inspired daily hairstyles. As always, I have a lot of fun creating hairstyles for you guys. Some of these hairstyles are just for you and some of them were for me and they're very self-indulgent so <laughs> but thank you so much for being a part of this conversation for requesting hairstyles next week i want to do hairstyles inspired by game characters this is definitely inspired by my love and obsession for genshin impact so you guys can definitely look forward to that as usual thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys again next week